Body Awareness Studio in Atlanta, Georgia. Today I'm going to talk about the Balanced Body Allegro II Reformer. The first thing we want to do is take the tower off if you have a tower. The safest way to do this is to take all the springs and the roll down bar off first so that they're not swinging around when you take your tower off. Now we need to loosen the knobs at the bottom of the tower bracket. You'll probably need your handy knob wrench that came with your reformer, so make sure you have that. And let's loosen the knob. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. I like to drape a towel over the top of the reformer tower so that when we take it out and we lean it up against the wall, we're not leaving any marks on the wall. In order to take the carriage pad off the top of the Allegro 2, we need to turn the reformer on its side so we can get at it from underneath. So let's take out the shoulder rests. Okay, we're going to bring the foot bar into the upright position. And just let your ropes fall to the side. So let's carefully tip the reformer onto its side. If you have wood floors, I recommend putting some yoga mats underneath the foot bar on this side and the frame on the other side so that you don't scratch your floor or the reformer. Now that the reformer is flipped on its side, let's take an Allen wrench and we're going to loosen all eight of the screws that hold the carriage pad on. So there's one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four. Okay, once we do that, we can just simply lift off the carriage pad from the other side. Before we install the new carriage pad, we need to make sure that we remove this headrest adjusting mechanism and switch it to the new carriage. Okay? So to do that, let's unscrew all of these bolts. Alright. And see that hardware here and let's go grab our new head uh, carriage pad okay let's put the same hardware we took off onto the new carriage pad so grab your metal plate and let's install this screw that's attached to the spring first make sure the knob is on the outside of the carriage edge Snug this down nice and tight. Now, let's add the pivot point. You want to make sure that the spacer fits right inside that hole in the sheet metal, okay? This will allow you to tighten it down all the way and still be able to rotate, okay? So you definitely want to test at this point to make sure everything rotates well. And then we'll add this last piece. Now you should be able to test it and it slides back and forth with no wiggle room 
nice and easily. To put the carriage bag back on, you want to slide this metal piece through the slot first and then align the carriage pad with the shoulder rest blocks. And everything should press down well. If it doesn't, pull the knob and get that mechanism locked into place. Okay? Now everything should be resting flat on the carriage. Okay, now I'm going to put the screws back in to the carriage. To do this, you might need to put your hand on the other side and maybe wiggle it a little bit to make sure that the holes are all the way lined up to get the screws in. We don't want to tighten any one of the screws too tight until you get all eight threaded in most of the way. Then we go back and tighten all eight of them nice and snug. Now that we've got the carriage pad back on, let's go ahead and flip the reformer back up onto its feet. Thanks for watching! Did you like this video? Subscribe to my channel to get updates on when I release new videos. See you next time!